Hello friends, welcome to Learners Forum. So the next topic is about 2421 code which is called self-complementing or reflective code. Let us see the representation first and then we can justify why it is called a self-complementing or reflective code. So 2421 in the sense the positional weights added are 2421 for this particular type of code. Let us see the representation now. So since it is a decimal type, decimal means it has a value of 10. So from 0 to 9 we have taken the value. Let us write the equivalent representation in 24211. We have two techniques. First is to represent 0 we are taking 4 zeros. For 1 it is 0 and under 1 we have binary 1. So then adding all the 4 bits we can get 1. So for 2 we can write the value as 0, 0, 1, 0 and at first 2 we can write the value as binary 1. The other way to represent is we can write it as 1, 0, 0 also but the procedure is starting from the LSB we have to fill the value so it will be 0, 0, 1, 0. For 3 it is 2 plus 1 so under 2, 1, 1 we have 1 which will be 0, 0, 1, 1. For 4 it is 0, 1, 0, 0. Till 4th value both the representation in 1 and 2 will remain the same for 2421 code without any changes but starting from the fifth value of decimal for 2421 we can represent it by 4 plus 1 0 1 0 1 in the other way we can represent it as 2 0 plus 1 plus 1 that is 2 plus 2 plus 1 which is also equivalent to 5 so we can represent it in the other way also similarly for 6 we can take it as 4 plus 2 so it will be 0 double 1 0 or in the other way we can fill it as 2 plus 4 so it will be 1 1 0 0. Next for 7 it is 0 triple 1 in the first representation. In second one it is 1 1 0 1. So once after seeing about 8 and 9 we will see the justification also for 8 is triple 1 0 in the first representation. Whereas in the second representation again it is triple 1 0. And for the last value of 9, adding all the bits, it will be equivalent to 9. So, all the 4 bits has to be 1 for both the types. So, the main reason why we are using the second representation is if you compare 4 and 5, 4 is 0, 1, 0, 0. Let us take 1's complement that is 0 with 1 and 1 with 0. So, it will be 0, 1, 1, 1 taking the complement for 4 which will be the value for 5. Similarly, if we take complement for 3, it will be 1, 1, 0, 0 which we have got it for 6. Next, if you consider for 2, it is 0, 0, 1, 0 taking complement will be 1, 1, 0, 1 which is available for the value of 7. Similarly, for 8, 1's complement of 1 is taken. For, so this is why it is called as self-complementing or reflective code. That is, you can complement the above one and get the other way. So we have to use this second representation only because only then we can satisfy the self-complementing characteristic of this particular code. So both the techniques are the same but 2 for 2 1 under the second representation will be used by. Now let us see the next code which is XS3 code which is unweighted and self-complementing code. Unweighted in the sense here we will not have any positional weight. So first decimal value is written in 8421 technique which is BCD code. And with this we have to add the value of 3 to get the XS3. That is why the name is XS of 3. That is adding 3 to the existing value. So for example if decimal value is taken as 2 then xs3 in the sense 2 plus 3 will be 5 which will be the xs3 value. So this is the characteristic of xs3 code unweighted in the sense here we will not have any positional weights. Let us see the representation now. So decimal which means we have 10 different values starting from 0 to 9. So let us write the first BCD representation now as per the procedure which is 8421 technique. So, so under 8421 for 0 to 9 we have filled all the values. So once after 8421 is there we have to add 3. So 0 plus 3 in the sense we will get the value as 3. So the representation of 3 is 0011. So we have got it for 
the first decimal value is 0. Next for 1 plus 3 will be 4. So the equivalent representation of 4 is 0100 0, 0, that is represented here. Next for 2, 2 plus 3 is 5. The value of 5 is 0101 0, 1, that is written here. Next for 3, plus 3 is 6. 6, six representation is 0110. 0. So 0110 0, 0 is written here. Next for 4, 4 plus 3 is 7. Value of 7 is 0, 0111 which is written here. Next for 5, it is 5 plus 3 which is equal to 8. Representation of 8 is 1, triple 0. Next for 6, 6 plus 3 is 9. Representation is 1, double 0, 1. Next for 7, 7 plus 3 is 10. Using 8, 4, 2, 1, you can represent 10 as under 8, 4, 2, 1. 8 plus 2 will be 10. So under that we will have 1. So 1, 0, 1, 0 will be the representation. Next for 8, 8 plus 3 is 11. So 8 plus 2 plus 1 is 11. So we will get 1, 0, 1, 1. Next for 9, it is 9 plus 3 is 12. So 8 plus 4 will be 12. So we will get 1, 1, 0, 0. Now looking at the representation of x is 3 code, we can see that if we take 1's complement of the first value for 0, the x is 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. And if we take the complement, we will get it as 1, 1, 0, 0. So if we consider 0, triple 1, that is for 4th value, and take the 1's complement, we will get it as 1, triple 0 which is the value of 5. Similarly, for the other set of pairs, it is available in this way, like as mentioned in the arrow mark. So this is why it is called as self-complementing code. So since we have obtained the other value using the complementing technique. So here we will not have any positional weights. So to find if the value is self-complementing or not, we have to take the weights W3, W2, W1 and W0 and add all that and we have to get if it is equal to 9 which means self-complementing. If not, it is not a self-complementing code. For example, if we take it as 8, 4, 2, 1, adding all the bits together, we will get it as 8 plus 4, 12, 12 plus 2, 14 plus 1, 15 which is not equal to 9. So, it is not a self-complementing technique. So, 8421 code is not a self-complementing code as we have seen now. We can check it for any other bits also. Next for 2421 technique, if we add together 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 2 8 is 8 plus 1 is 9 which is equal to 9 which means it is a self-complementing code. Like we have seen 2421 is a self-complementing code. So this is the procedure to find out whether the given code is self-complementing or not.